I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Bleed. It's set in the dangerous year of 20XDX, a time where worm and dragon were terrorists alike for their works of valor and charm and story. Basically, this is the game where a girl named Ren, I believe, decides that to be the greatest hero, she has to kill all the other great heroes. Because that's, that's how it works, right? I mean you got to kill a lot of people to be a good hero. That's that's what video games taught me. And this, you know, that's true in this video game as well. My controller decided to turn off again. Glorious. PC gaming. Hold on. Alright, let's actually play now. This is Bleed! It's a very happy game about killing things! Yes. So yeah, basically the way the game works is there are some heroes that are good guys, but you know, we want to be a hero too, so we're going to kill them. That's just, that's how this works, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you weren't aware of this. This game's controls are pretty simple. Um, left stick to move, right stick to shoot. Um, Right trigger is jump, left trigger is time slow, and then you can change weapons. You only get two weapons, so both uh, shoulder buttons switch uh, thingers. A lot of people do a double take when they find out right trigger is jump, but you have to be constantly on the right stick, so face buttons for jump would not work here. The controls work quite well. Um, you'll notice I started on ultra hard. I've um, already beaten the game and I have gotten some upgrades and so rather than erase my progress and start over and you know show you normal you know how you'd probably do in a normal playthrough I thought I'd show you ultra hard you don't have to get all these upgrades to play ultra hard but it certainly helps I really shouldn't have taken this much damage before the first mini boss also interestingly this game has uh, gamepad rumble on PC and I think this is the first time I recall that ever actually working. So that's interesting. It's actually kind of annoying because of the main weapon or you know constantly firing so it's just sort of a constant rumble. But uh, interesting that it works anyway. Regarding the weapons, um, that's sort of an unfortunate part of this game. The game starts you off with um, these two guns, your normal um, shooty all directions double pistols and a rocket launcher. Um, for 95, no, let's say 90% of the game, there's no reason to use anything but the dual pistols because they work on bosses and normal enemies alike. And um, the only reason I use this laser rifle here is because it pierces enemies, which is very useful for, it just so happens, the very boss of this level. And uh, more generally, it's pretty useful just for the piercing property. Rocket launcher, I have, I'm pretty sure it does less DPS, even if all shots hit, than the dual pistols. So aside from the splash damage, I don't know why you'd ever use it really. Uh oh. This boss is pretty easy even on ultra hard, except that one attack I have the most trouble dodging. Um, very, very many enemy attacks are designed to um, be dodged using time slow, so definitely use it. I've got some upgrades that give me a lot more time slow than I would have at the very beginning of the game. So that's why you definitely want to start off with normal unless you're like super mega ultra badass, because you will have a worse time, because you'll have a bit less health, a bit less energy. Ah, see? I... You have to get some major hang time twice? Son of a bitch. Yeah, I always fall for- oop. Didn't actually mean to do that. Keep. Um. Hold on here. Okay, now they're working fine. Oh, you do get three jumps, but to maximize your airtime, you don't want to spend them all at once. Alright. We're gonna die to this boss, just in case you couldn't guess that. We don't get healed, ever. You get, you get healed by dying. Unless you're in arcade mode, and then you just die, period. 
This is story mode though, so we can restart. Which is a good thing. Because this would be an embarrassing way to end the Let's Play. I think she was about to say, don't worry, it's just a video game or something. There are death quotes, I think they're personalized by each boss even, and there's just some other general ones. It's not actually doing his more annoying pattern, so that's pretty easy. Oh! He'll, he'll never see his more annoying pattern. Whatever. Let's just pretend that was skill. His other thing, he turns red and like tries to smash you. Kind of annoying to dodge. Damn it. There are almost no hit stop, or almost no um, invincibility frames after taking a hit. So you can... In fact, your only invincibility frames are while you're in the getting knocked away animation. So they're basically useless. So you can take a lot of damage pretty quick if you don't get your butt out of the way. Can I get more upgrades? Eh, not really yet. Let's fight the worms. Let's do these on this one on hard. I haven't practiced this one as much. Um, as you saw, four difficulty levels. The enemy patterns actually change on the higher difficulty levels as well as you... Actually, I'm not sure if you even take more damage. Enemies take more damage to die, I'm definitely sure of, but... Uh... Yeah, as you can see, Dual Pistols deals with everything super well, so the other guns are pretty not useful. I will show you a few, but... For instance, against these dudes, the uh, homing missiles are quite useful, but the problem is they're really easy to beat with the normal pistols anyway, so the homing missiles aren't really a particularly high benefit now. Um, didn't need to jump there. Flamethrower is fun, but you have to get way too close. It also doesn't seem to do all... Well, it does okay damage, I guess. There are many sec sections in levels where you're, like this one right here, basically required to use time slow to boost through. And very often, at the same time, you'll have to be shooting stuff that's trying to shoot you, or fall on you at least. I'm not sure if you can try to fall on things if you're a rock, but you know. That's what rocks do. This is why I didn't pick Ultra Hard. Alright, these, these weapons honestly kind of suck. Um, let me show you the revolver, which I kind of hate, and the shotgun, which I gotta say. The revolver is semi-automatic, which means it fires as fast as you can press it. But since you're using dual stick controls, that's extremely unpleasant in my opinion. So I... they bounce though, which is pretty cool. Well, it's not that bad, honestly, but uh, I just never use it. I really do prefer the double pistols for basically everything. And the shotgun's just of very limited use because of the low fire rate. There also seems to be a limited number of... Ow. When you're using the pistols, at least, there seems to be a limited number of places you'll snap to. It's a bit weird. So you might not have quite the permission, or the precision you want. Like, I'm moving the stick here. I guess it's alright, but sometimes it just feels like I'm not shooting like quite exactly like I should. But who knows, might be dead zones, whatever. But, definitely, ow. A pretty challenging, very skill-based game. Almost no luck involved aside from boss patterns, really. Ow, and being dumb. There are quite a few bosses, and then at the very end of the game, there's a boss rush, which is pretty interesting. I won't probably show it to you, but uh, the boss rush has all of the enemies are doubled, and they take a they take less damage to die, but they have like dealt you know there's two of them, which means you can dish out damage more quickly depending on your weapon setup. Um, but they're also harder to dodge until one of them dies, and I think their pattern's also slightly different. But I thought it was a pretty cool way to handle um, boss rush that's not just, you know, 
fight the exact same crap you just fought, you know, a couple hours ago. Game's fairly short, but uh, if you want to do arcade mode or, you know, ultra hard and stuff or unlock all the weapons, definitely quite a bit of replayability. Um, I like replaying just because I, like, know what the hell I'm doing the second time around, and <laughs> excellent. Um, you know, want to beat a stage properly. The story's pretty bare bounds, but uh, there's a cute little twist at the end. Um, I guess I've shown you everything except akimbo pistols. Akimbo pistols are basically pistols except you shoot in opposite directions instead of the same direction. Um, not bad for normal enemies since they'll probably die fast enough anyway, but I don't find the opposite direction pistol to be very useful most of the time, and during bosses it's basically just cutting your damage in half, so... Not very useful. So that's why I just stick with the double pistols and the laser rifle. Okay, I'll wait for another cycle. Also, it feels like um, the time slow makes you invincible, but running out of it in an inopportune time can hurt quite a lot. So you don't want to just spam it quite all the time. That... what? Excuse me. I didn't even see you. Okay. So like right now, we kind of want full time slow. You can wall kick. T the f I guess you can't wall kick that much. Hmm. I kind of figured you had infinite wall kicks. You definitely do not. This is why you need to use slow motion for these parts. You have to touch the ground again to be able to triple jump again. That's why I was having so much trouble there, because I would run out of triple jumps and then suffer a lot of pain. There are also mid-bosses in all of the levels. Sometimes there's two. You can play two-player. I haven't, but uh, you can do that if you want. There are also different players, um, or different characters, that have slightly different abilities. Like, I've unlocked Robo Ren, which, uh. Pretty sure her name's pronounced Ren, at least. Um. It's basically this girl here, except a robot, of course, and, uh. Ow. You refill time by killing or dealing damage. Um. Which can mean, in certain boss fights, constant time slow, which lets you basically perfectly dodge. Um. But for normal levels, it's not as useful. It's very useful for, like, bo the boss rush and stuff. This boss rush, there's like a... I'll show you later, but there's like an arena where you pick three bosses to fight at once. That's pretty cool. There's also arcade mode, which I think I mentioned earlier. Um, basically, if you get a game over, it's like... My controller stopped responding. <sighs> I can't- the fun thing about how Windows handles games con game controllers, if your controller loses connection while playing a game, even if you reconnect it, it won't respond to the game anymore, so that's actually an incredibly huge problem. Uh, I'll be right back and show you the other modes. Alright. So for extras we got arcade mode, pretty standard. Challenge mode, which lets you pick, you know, Say we want to fight, we don't want to fight. Let's fight four or three guppies. And, uh... Let's fight them on a train. See, now we just have four guppies to fight. Guppy was, of course, the first boss. And they all basically go about their normal business at the same time. And they share a health bar, but they will... die separately. Like, I don't have to deal... I don't have to complete the whole health bar before they start dying. As you can see here. This is gonna end poorly. Oh! There we go! What? And this is why we like the laser gun for Guppy. Crap. Yeah, I don't like that attack. Um...
Yeah, that's challenge mode. Then you can character select. I unlocked this by beating the game on a Rin. Yeah, uh, normal or something. I don't actually like Robo Rin that much. I haven't got the other characters. You can of course rebind your controls. You can use mouse if you want. And you can use mouse and a gamepad for a co-op. You can disable, um, wall jump honestly isn't that useful. Um, you can disable rumble too if you want. And yeah, the, I would definitely recommend using the defaults on the gamepad. And yeah, oh yeah, there's a little shop I showed you briefly. But yeah, you can go in here and you can buy upgrades based, you get score based on how well you do in the stages and you can spend that on uh, these upgrades. Six of these were weapons. I don't think there was anything in this slot. Um, health and time upgrades, and this one doubles your recharge rate for the uh, time slow thing. Well, that is Bleed. It's up on Steam, and uh, I highly recommend it. Very fun little game.